Hi, my name is Tomasz and you're watching Casual DIY channel. In today's video, we'll be soundproofing and insulating my garage door. Check out the video. Let me just quickly explain to you where is my workshop, how it's built and why I want to insulate those garage doors. Now, uh, the workshop, the garage I'm in, it's actually attached to the house. There are two separate rooms on that side and then the house wall. As such, there is no heating in the garage area, although one of the side rooms has got the whole contraption that heats the house. So I've got two massive tanks in there with hot water for the house. One's for floor heating and the other one is for running water. So a part of that heat actually comes to the workshop and even in really cold days, in here it's not too bad. But from obvious reasons, the garage doors will be the biggest corporate here to lose the warmth from uh, the garage from inside, but also it's the weakest point with noise insulation here. We're gonna do some simple testing to see if we actually managed to make any improvements at all. And how I'm gonna insulate those doors, you'll find out in just a second. But the first job we need to tackle is to actually clean those doors from all the dust and all the residue on it. Let's crack on. One very important thing that you need to consider when trying to insulate your garage doors is how much weight you can actually add to the panel doors, if any. Now I have emailed the people that made these doors and fitted them in this house and they said to me that the maximum amount of kilograms I can add to these doors is 15 for the mechanism still to work correctly. Fortunately enough, the solution I've got weighs in total about eight kilograms. So I'm way below uh, the maximum threshold. Right then, so what are we actually using to insulate and soundproof the garage doors? Well, we're gonna use two things. First of all, yes, you've guessed it. I've got multi-purpose insulation wrap. So it's the um, aluminium looking like uh, foil. So uh, as you can see, work zone. So that's from um, Aldi. So that will go directly on the panels themselves. And to install them, I'm gonna be using a double-sided tape, super strong. But I also got a really strong spray adhesive. The thing is, if something goes wrong, I will change my mind. If I use this on the doors, I will basically damage the doors. Whereas with tape, I can somehow peel it off without damaging the doors. So that's my thinking here. And the second super secret ingredient here is the acoustic foam in a shape of pyramids. In total, it's six centimeters in depth, whereas the base is two centimeters and the pyramids themselves are four centimeters. Check this out. Okay, so these are made to help with sound absorption or reducing noise outside, etc. But because it's foam, it will also help with preserving the warmth that's inside of the garage and the cold from coming inside. That's my thinking anyway. The first thing, I just need to cut everything in the right sizes. To do the cuts, I'm just using a very sharp knife and a long straight edge. In this case, a board that I found in my workshop. Same thing with the foam, although after a few cuts, I realized that probably scissors would be a lot better idea as the knife wasn't leaving a nice finish. Um, then I'm just using the spray adhesive on the foam. And after that, I will be attaching the um, aluminum foil onto the foam itself. The most important thing I'm after in this project is to reduce the noise from my workshop going outside and obviously from the main road that's just behind the doors, the noise from the cars going in here. So <laughs> I don't have to repeat my voiceovers uh, for you guys when I'm recording the videos as the noise from the cars can be really bad sometimes. So let's do a bit of a test before we actually put any insulation 
on the garage doors. I'm going to show you the noise with some running machines here. So let's check out the noise volumes of how quiet it is right now outside. So we've got actually a good comparison when I'm going to start the machines. Right, so we're going to do the measurements in three places. One, behind the garage where the window is. I'm about a meter away from the garage. Now we go into the side of the workshop where the wall meets the ambient. And now to the front of my workshop where the garage doors are. And now I will switch the table saw and my vac. And let's go outside in front of the window again. It's a little bit louder, but it's not too bad. Let's check out how loud it is here. Almost nothing, well, at least I can hear anything. And now the front, oh yes, I can hear it here. Look at that noise. Okay, let's try to reduce that. Now I'm just adding three strips of the double-sided tape. And I have to say, the hardest part of this project was trying to peel away the um, <laughs> back of the tape itself. Uh, but seriously, if you've got somebody to help you out with this, probably would be a good idea. I had to struggle on my own, but in the end managed to complete the whole project, as you can see. Okay, and here you go. That's more or less done. Obviously, it's not perfect. I'm <laughs> not a perfect cutting person. But, uh, but it will do, it blocks more or less the whole um, space of the doors, apart from the metal rails, obviously that needs to stay clear, and some gaps in between the panels, as we still need to allow the doors to open and close, basically. So, let's have a look if the gate opens. So as you've seen, there's no issues with that, no visible stress to what it was before. But the biggest question is, how about the noise reduction? So let's check that out. Again, I'm going to switch on the vac and the table saw and we'll go outside to see what's the noise like. Okay, so we are outside where the window is. More or less what it was. Let's check out from the side. Perfect. And now the moment of truth. The doors. Okay, let's recap. Tools are on and the insulation is installed. I'm quite surprised that with in front of the window, we've got actually reduced amount of noise, not too much from 47 to 44.7, but also in front of the wall, 41.6 to 34.2. I'm quite surprised with that. And obviously, um, the main thing that I'm interested in, in front of the garage doors, we had about 67.8, and after the insulation, 60.3 or 61, it varied a little bit. So disappointing in this factor, but I'm actually surprised that the in front of the wall and in front of the window, we actually had some improvements as well. Quite surprising there. So as you can see, unfortunately, the difference was about six, seven decibels. I was expecting a lot more better than nothing of course it is but i was expecting at least 15 to 20 decibels lower 
The noise itself, it wasn't as high pitched as it was before. It was a little bit more numb, if you know what I mean. With regards to the temperatures, I think the aluminium foil, that will actually work as it should do. As I've done something similar in the garage I had in the UK, and actually that gave me a significant difference when it comes to warmth. So I don't think this will work any differently. So overall, personally, I'm actually a little bit disappointed. I thought it would be a lot better. Maybe I should have invested in a far more expensive foam. But six centimeters, I think that's plenty. And the reviews of this foam um, were fairly good. Although probably not the best thing for a more industrial type place. It's probably more suitable to a recording studio or something like that. Now the time will tell if the uh, double-sided tape will hold, if the uh, glue will hold. So if there will be any issues with it, you can be assured that I will let you know on my channel or social medias. So make sure to subscribe to my channel so you don't miss that potential very important video. But for now guys, thank you so much for watching. Take care.